Okay, well, if you watched uh, my last 3D print stream, or my last video, that is, um, you know that uh, the printer suffered a, uh, a crash um, about three quarters of the way through a, a long, complicated print. So what I'm going to do today is replace this print head because it's got some uh, damage to it from when it bound up with the uh, the model and came apart. Um, so unfortunately, this isn't something usually it's covered by like a warranty or anything by any manufacturer. So um, what I've done is I've gone out and I uh, I purchased a brand new print head um, for this. Um, it was quick, easy, um, 40 bucks on Amazon. Um, comes already pre-built, assembled, ready to go. That's all you gotta do is just open it up. And install it. So this is all there is to it. This is all that needs replaced. Um, but it is the the most important part obviously of the machine so um, can't work without it so what I'm gonna do now is uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take the old one off of there get this one on there get it hooked up and uh, hopefully get back to business this afternoon so um, first things first um, with all things electronic I disconnect the uh, the electricity from it and we're gonna go ahead and disconnect the main uh, data cable. Um, this is pretty simple to get off of here after that. Um, it's realistically going to detach it from the rail by loosening up these wheels up here. Um, take the unit off, disconnect the belt, put the new one back on the carriage, and then it'll be uh, ready to use hopefully soon. So. So one of the things that makes this um, easier to do is to remove the um, fan assembly off of the back. Um, that's just held on with a couple of uh, quick Allen head screws. Uh, just like everything else, um, they're all pretty much Allen heads metric.
these also come with a, a cheap little wrench. Um, you're going to need that um, to get the screws off or out, I should say, uh, from the, the wheel assembly. Honestly, once you begin to loosen those, um, the the disassembly is pretty simple. cheap tools like this but unfortunately um, one of my kids walked away with my Allen key set so. and then the the belt just slides out of these little notches in the back and we can move that aside so now um, all that's left to do is to detach the head from the carriage here um, and it's really only held on with one small little screw here at this point The old head's removed. Um, you can see it, it actually busted this plastic clean off. Um, there's a screw that holds that sensor on, but it busted it right off. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's probably something I could glue back together, but realistically, um, for the 40 bucks that it cost, it's probably going to be a less headache. There we go. Um, the new head's mounted on the, uh, the bracket and it's ready to reattach. Quite honestly, I think this is the most difficult part of the whole thing is reattaching the belt uh, because it is very snug. So what I prefer to do is to get this on here, before I put the uh, head back on the carriage there.
and then uh, tighten these bolts back up. Or, sorry, screws, whatever you want to call them. And then the last thing to do, there's just a couple little screws that go on the front here. Spin it around. We're going to hook our fan back up. And last step is just to reinstall the data cable, which you can't see. Go ahead and reconnect the power here. I did take the uh, control panel off uh, just so it wasn't in the way, it wouldn't get broken. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, power it back up.
go ahead and um, And then we are ready to um, go ahead and get everything um, set back up. Um, in this case, what I'm going to do, just to be on the safe side, is I'm going to reset everything back to factory specs, just to kind of give it a, a fresh start. So, thanks for watching, everybody. Um, We'll be ready to uh, do another print stream here shortly. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe uh, button for me, and we'll see you next time.